Who, what is going on, geeks? Welcome back to another episode of Ark Building Evolved with me, Unite the Clans. I'll tell you, the thing that made this area in our swamp village appeal to me initially was the this walled-in area with this big tree. And um, it reminded me of the God's Woods of uh, uh, the Game of Thrones. There's one in most of the castles, and they're especially important in the north. And if you saw today's thumbnail or title, you know that you were going to be seeing Winterfell. So I will not uh, take long to get you there. But I did want to say welcome back to this series. I've been off of it for a few days, for a week, geez, and I'm ready to get back to it. So we'll be doing some building here in this area today and we will be taking some lessons from my patrons this is a creative building server i now share it with my patreon supporters so everything's been spawned in and we've built here as a community uh, i took this area and wanted to convert it i've had contributions from the community like crazy including the docks down there and uh, uh, a whole new swamp area built out there but uh, this server is also a place where you can just come and, and build to your heart's content and you will see uh the the true extent to which you can do uh do that uh, in a moment we're headed to winterfell this has been built in less than a month by the amazing jaffa who also completed that tower built this thing out here decorated the interior of one of my houses so this is a place where a lot of building is going on i intend to get back to it today and contribute but without further ado guys off to the north off to the godswood and off to winterfell all right, welcome guys. Take a look at where I am, and I am kicking off uh, this chunk of the video with a tour of Winterfell. This is done by Jeff from the Patreon creative building server, the one we are on now. It's now called Geeks Building Evolved. We have merged my personal server with our Patreon servers. We now have a place where all of the patrons can come and do creative building. And within the process of a month, you can get done a massive project. So this server has been up for maybe... 24 days something like that and jeff or jaffo has built this whole dang place uh and i wanted to start here because it's probably one of the most iconic locations first episode you see ned stark sitting there i mean there's a little pool instead of a river but cleaning ice the the family greatsword and i mean if you're a game of thrones geek this is the place to start i am going to take us out to the uh the outside of the the castle we will start out there and I'll, we'll work our way back into this god's wood Alright, so here we are guys. We are on the outskirts of Winterfell. That is it right there. We're in the Hadana region of Ragnarok, in case you want to know where we are. Uh, I've gone exploring here. I'll put that episode up in the cards. Uh, and we are going to have a tour through Jaffo's place. Uh, I see a bunch of my personal building techniques. I see uh, S plus stairs as roofs. I see S plus double doors painted in metallic gold used as the foundation for a building. Um, yeah. That's cool. Uh, and he, uh, a little inside out wood with tangerine paint. All of these very familiar to me, but the town looks great. <clears throat> yeah, I love this server. This is a server where you can come and build your brains out uh, and it, it goes extinct uh, every 60 days. This version only lasted 30 days, but uh, in the future, they'll have two months to build your brains out and build what you can build. Now, one thing I'm learning, wandering through here that I need to do in our swamp town I need to put some work in just spamming in buildings um, because some of these are very simple. I know he didn't do interiors for most of them, but it makes the place look populated. And we'll visit another spot on our way back that does the same. But yeah, and and you'll see just a few need to have <coughs> just a few need to have sort of detailed interiors. This one has a bit of a detailed interior, and then it's all sort of hollow shells, custom planted trees. So they're in good locations. All these conifer trees. And then you come through here, another simple building, another simple building, and boom, there's one with a bunch of life to it. Uh, this is a black blacksmith. All kinds of details, all kinds of storage, and pardon me, my. With voices, my throat, jeez. I'm on the verge of coughing every second here. And then you come through here. So it's a bunch of small buildings just sort of spammed in using similar materials. I gotta do this. I gotta I gotta take some inspiration from this. So we're we're even if you did take some inspiration from me, Jaffo. And then this is the stables. So this is one I would have I would almost have this building be more opened up so it's more obvious that there's horses inside. But he did a cool thing with it. Like it's all built so that the grass comes up through the ground in here. Um, I like the look of it. It's got a bunch of saddle tack up on the walls. This is all from the eco uh, mods. And there's stuff here for, yeah, saddle and everything. You got your hossies. You got a little trough for hay. And you got these sort of like uh, decorative straw beds all around here. The place looks great. 
Uh, let's go ahead and poke ourselves out. But yeah, I would have maybe it look open so that you could see the horses. But the server goes boom in a few days. So uh, here we go, guys. Gates of Winterfell. And so we're going to walk through two gates. When we walk through the second, the thing that I love the most is the depth. I think there's five levels of towers going off in the distance as you walk through here. I wouldn't say towers, but there's five distinct heights and depths as you come through here. Ready? You capture some of the scope and the scale of the thing uh, when you get when you get that effect. So uh, come on in, guys. This is a little shipping area. You can tell using some of the mods. Everything built pretty much in vanilla. Uh, these are all basic building pieces, structures plus as well, but then using the, the decor mods to fill in these kind of details, which adds so much. But anyway, uh, I think Jaffo built off a model of Winterfell, an image of Winterfell, and not necessarily the version from the show. What do we got here? The crypts. Oh, yes. Okay, so we'll come back here once it's actually dark, the crypts. Don't let me forget. Uh, we got barracks now. So, yeah, some of these buildings done up on the inside. Some, some not. We got a little sheep farm here, and we are gonna come around. Ooh, dodo coop hiding right here. I don't know if you guys can see the dodos inside, but they're in there. Uh, another little stables area here for the hossies. So, so we've come all the way around. Let's go ahead and poke our heads inside the castle. So, uh, you come through here, guys. This, that is your. Uh, your kitchen area and there are addition I guess that's the dining hall really and there's a kitchen area here another kitchen area here and if oh actually not a kitchen area this is a little quarters uh, and I was gonna say if on the show um, if you're picturing Winterfell from the show I think that this b table over here would be raised up on a dais all right guys and up we go into a bit of a lounge area a couple of bedrooms branching off here. There's lots and lots of bedroom space. And does this... Oh, yeah, this is... Okay, so there's talk in the books uh, and mention in the show of a glass house or a greenhouse where you can grow vegetables in the winter uh, that Winterfell has. That is what Jaffo did here. Winterfell from the books. I don't know if they address it in the show, but in the books, it's like... Uh, it's... Uh, geothermal it's the the ground is active uh, there's like hot springs underneath uh, the city that keep it warm and that's probably why it was built where it was built there are a couple more little things I can show you we can go uh, let's go back to the crypts okay so here it is guys if you have watched uh, the show Game of Thrones or read the Song of Ice and Fire books the crypts of Winterfell hold a lot of importance. This is where all the former kings of winter and the lords of Winterfell uh, and kings in the north have been buried. And uh, traditionally, all the kings get a statue and uh, it is deep underground. There's levels and levels and levels. So when Jaffo brought me here, he's like, well, you get to work with what you got, right? And I'm like, yeah, so what are you going to do? You obviously, it's going to be tough to get the crypts bright. I tell you, he did a great job. So there is big modded rocks you can use. And he has used those uh, to build what feels like a cave. So you come down and, and there are little boxes that would represent, you know, spots for bones and things like that. And then there are these people which would represent your statues of your kings of winter. That Actually, the one girl would probably be Liana, who's Ned's sister. Uh, and then you come down. I imagine there's only one girl. Yeah, and then he's got some coffins. He's got some boxes. He's got more statues that would be old kings. You come down here, be reliving the history of old Winterfell, and then at some point down here, you'd turn the stairs and go down to an even deeper level. But arcs arc, so we don't have that option. Great job on the crypts, man. Let's go back to the Godswood, and uh, we will we will take a final tour of it. You know what? Let's wait for dawn. All right, that is better. So uh, the whole point of this God's Wood is that weirwood tree. Now in the show, those would have a face carved in them and they would represent the old gods of the north. I'm a nerd for this stuff. So getting to tour around Jaffo's version of Winterfell has been a delight. I'm really enjoying it. And I think he did the best he possibly could. He's got this uh, this garden of, it's called the God's Wood, but it's sort of a, a, a garden of old trees and plants and uh 
water and he's got the one tree that stands out in it now you could either do that with a white tree or with the red leaves he had to get the right the red leaves and the tree is somewhat white he told me he tried painting it tried painting a face on it no go but that is the best you can do with that so guys i think if you have i have certainly enjoyed our tour of winterfell there is more i would like to show you more that has gone on in this building evolved world uh, before we go back to our swamp kingdom and do a little building today All right, and welcome back, guys. I told you I had something to show you. What I have to show you is a whole frickin' swamp village. Um, so I, I gotta talk about how much fun this has been. I The episodes, admittedly, uh, all videos from me have been less frequent uh, this last week and a bit. I got sick, and then I kind of came back without my... my inspiration so i've been struggling to get videos out inspiration's coming back i should say this series is one that's always been single player until volume five here in the swamps and now we're doing it on a patreon server so uh, i have the option to collaborate and build a world with the people who watch my channel and support me over on patreon uh so uh, i came back after days away to see this a whole f swamp village built in proximity to to ours the uh, kind of fallen kingdom we've been working on. You see more houses over there. We'll take a little Caprasucos and tour around. But look at the creativity. You got, uh, th these are pathways from the Eco Stable mod. Uh, lined up with uh, those foundations. Those are the Eco Stable foundations, but with just wooden thatch houses built on. And a lot of the houses are just wooden thatch. It's a good example of how you can do spam. And uh, a little bit of detail, like this is very simple here, but you come over here and this door is multicolored and uh, there's plants. So it's like, here's a little p point of detail. That's enough to catch your eye and drag you onto, ooh, here's the next point of detail. Look at this boat, look at this thing. And you can walk by some boring buildings in between. Not that these are boring, but they're very simple. So that's a, a, a note we can take when we go back, which we will, and work on our place. That is still my plan and I still want to get back there. I spent a lot of time in, winter, in Winterfell, so I won't spend crazy long here. I just wanted to show you guys this and how cool it looks look at all these barrels stacked outside this place and one last hut down here that is cool oh a little campfire area out here yep those are the big bonfires i used on top of my church towers i like it okay so yeah i'm trying to get back to the groove guys of, of recording and doing this thing every day uh and it's funny when i got knocked out of it i got knocked out of it so uh i i want to get back to uh building with you so let's head over to our swamp area Okay, smooth. All right, more community contributions over there, guys. I got to put some work into this place. I got to bring it to life. Uh, and I think the plan for that is going to be some spam, and it's going to be around this market area and buildings all up along this edge. I'm going to have to redo some of this bridge. It's going to turn here at the end and go off so that it comes under this little awning. So I have a bunch of work to do. Some of it's going to be off camera. I want to get a lot done, and I want to make some progress today, but I'll bring you back for the most interesting parts of the build. I'm going to go get to work right now uh, and take some inspiration from that swamp village, take some inspiration from Winterfell, and try and spam some builds all over over this place I love it and before we do before we start spamming buildings we need to get the bridge worked out and I have been working on it the paint will tell us if I've done a good job or not uh, but uh, the idea was to have the bridge uh, curve and meet that little arbor you see there uh, and that'll frame in the area we're gonna we're gonna spam buildings onto I think so I had to improvise the bridge originally and have it dip down under the tree branch and it went straight through this branch straight through the foliage um, we've shifted that now I think this has to come down let's pick that up uh, and we and so can this this can get picked up too right yep all right so with those things done and there is a ooh okay there's a wall right here let's turn on I think that's okay but yeah that was going to cause some issues so let's go ahead and finish off the railings i think we'll do that one i think that'll work and this and i'll worry about the rest uh, in a little time and then i think we'll slap some paint on this right away and see how it looks i think it's gonna look good um but uh i wanted to wanted to do a little bit of this work with you guys at my side so let's enable all six regions we're using olive paint and a sprayer here and it gives us a color scheme, a tone that is quite close 
to the ruins we are painting alongside as we've used this quite a bit to build amongst the ruins. What is this doing here? This wall can get lost, I think. Yep. And uh, I'll have to do a little custom paint job on the railings. I know that. Uh, but let's go ahead and slap paint all up in this. Now, I think I used forest green paint on the uh, on the ceilings here, uh, the old version. I think I should swap that out. Let's go ahead and do the olive paint through here. Let's go down and paint uh, this thing, and we'll see if it looks all right. Uh, so this side I really like. I feel like I did a good job with that. And then we had to make some changes here. Uh, that kind of, It ruins the aesthetic of the wall from this angle, this view. Um, but we'll do some slapping of paint and we'll, we'll bring it to life. So I'm excited to be back and building uh, in this game, guys. I, I It took me time to get back into this. I, I go through uh, waves as a YouTube creator. If you're going to be a fan of this channel, I guess you should pay attention to that. The fact that I will not always be on my game. Every once in a while, I will hit a rough patch. I will lose my inspiration, and I will need to take a little time away from making videos or make fewer videos for a while. And then I'll hit a patch of intense inspiration and hard work ethic, and I will pump out videos like a madman. I think that is just my natural, my natural cycle. All right, guys, let's try region one. I've got everything painted except the tops of the railings. And we're going to make sure those get painted here as we go. Uh, that yellow writing on the screen. We have now switched to our new host. Uh, our new host is uh, uh, G Portal Servers. And we're going from Logic. Uh, so far, so great with G Portal. I'm a big fan. I'm happy to be working with them. But one of the settings must have got reset. Every time someone uses an admin command, it pops up there which is useful on most servers so that you know if anybody's using or abusing those. But this is a server designed for admin building. We gotta get rid of that yellow writing. And even with auto hide enabled, it ain't going away. So I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know what to do to manage it. But uh, this is how things are looking. And I wanna get ready to spam in some buildings in the last uh, third of the video for you guys. Uh, but I wanted to get a little of this in, a little of the paint scheme, see how that looks. I mean, I like that. I could live with that. Um, ins inspired. Uh, so I think the next plan is to spam buildings. Uh, what I am going to do is get two or three built, uh, come back and show you what I'm thinking, maybe build one with you and then build a couple more. I'm going to keep them small, keep them simple, and they're going to line uh, the outside of this market area so that in the next episode we get here, we can actually work on market stalls and things like that or invite the geeks to come and do that. Uh, so I'm going to take another break. When I come back, we're going to be spamming in uh, swamp buildings and uh, yeah, I'm excited. I think I'm going to keep this color scheme going, this wood and, and orange thatch. We'll, we'll see. Uh, all right, guys, I'll be back in your life in just a minute. All right, and welcome back, guys. We're going to take a look at what I managed to build, and we'll do it uh, by going up this thing that we built last episode. Uh, in episode 35, we built this sort of ruined staircase out of uh, vanilla foundations. I was pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, all of those painted in olive green, did a little technique with a, a little modded lantern at the end of a railing. I think people really dug it. And that comes up into this arbor, which is the reason we changed around the bridge design. So the bridge would now line up like this with the arbor, and that would create the space for us to build off of. So only one side is done. I still have to build two or three, I'll, I'll figure it out, two, two more sides. But those are the two structure styles I have going. One is regular wood walls with a, a, a thatch ceiling painted in tangerine. That's a look that we've captured a few times throughout the build. Use that color a few times here and there. And then the other house is uh, got olive inside out walls and uh, it's got a roof. The roof is a stone roof painted brown, but it also has S plus Adobe stairs in it. Um, and those are painted olive green. So I wonder if we can get closer to that so I can show it off to you. Um, there's a little pathway that comes through here. Zip on through. And I'll see, yeah, I'll figure out the best way. I'll get up on the roof, BRB. All right, guys, so this is the look. Uh, brown stone roofs, which you can only access from underneath, or sorry, from above. And then these wooden uh, uh, stairs, which are uh, Adobe... Adobe, excuse me, are S plus ramps, which I can only access from the bottom. I assume I can access from the bottom. Yeah, so I could switch that to a ramp, and now it's almost invisible. Switch it back to stairs. So we're double layering those things there, but I think we did good. 
I think I like that that look. And I think that if we spam these two building styles, the sort of wood with the orange thatch roof and the olive inside out wood with this funky stone roof, I think if we spam those buildings a few more times around here, it's going to look good. So I'm thinking uh, one or two here. I'm thinking one or two along here. And then I might squeeze, might continue it back to this area, but I don't know. I might might decide this bridge is the separation, so we only have to fill. Ooh. All right, that's a clumsy area. Be careful of that. But uh, so we only have to fill in this area with uh, with overhanging buildings. But that is the look, and I wanted to make sure I used pillars uh, in a way where the pillars were overhanging, uh, so that things needed support. I used a lot of vanilla building pieces here, and then uh, and. Uh, I took the pillars and kind of built a cool thing. I don't know if that's cool or not, but I built them into this staircase and they come all the way down to here. And yeah, that one I need to paint olive green, but that was made to look like it was tied in. So I think what I want to do is add in a couple more buildings like this. I showed you the two. Uh, we can we can take a look at some of it together. All right, guys, so let's take a look at uh, these the technique we are going to use for these houses. I'm just going to slap in some foundations, see how far across this would get us. Perfect. Maybe wreck the one in the middle. So we got one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think that could work. So the two building styles we have, guys, are uh, a really simple one with regular uh, wooden walls. And that would go, uh, I'm just slapping things together for now. But that is the that is some of the idea of this, is that we, we make these buildings as efficiently and quickly as possible. Let's get this stuff on the hot bar as well. All right, and we'll go ahead and slap that up there, slap that up there, and then we come through with the Adobe, boom, 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 and then uh, number one, and I think it's just region one. It's gonna paint that, and if we spam in a bunch of these, I don't know, I feel like the place will come together pretty quick. So that's the beginning of a building, and then we'll do the uh, alternate version of the building right about here. And we'll go ahead and, and slap this thing together, we'll slap a coat of paint on it, and I will figure out the backs of these buildings, etc. Alright, so with that done, we're gonna go ahead and do uh, window frames. And we'll do a couple of door frames up above that, like this. And then we'll begin just slapping things in. And this this would be the, the way that you speed build. You wouldn't overthink it. You wouldn't spend too much time. I wanted to get the style down with the first couple, but I definitely, like I said, did not want to be overthinking. Let's go ahead and come down with these. We'll go ahead and paint those. Uh, switch to stairs. Switch to stairs. Oh, beautiful. And paint this. And boom, boom, and switch to stairs, and switch to stairs. All right, so with that part done, this can come out, right? Yep. And we need some olive paint. All right, so region one once again, and you're going to paint all of these. It won't be obvious that anything is happening, except for the corner pieces. You'll know you have done well. So let's go ahead and put those in there. And I think region five and six, four and five were the ones I ended up having to select uh, for these. Yep. Let's go ahead and give those a paint job. And then we will work on getting the stone ceilings to attach. And those are gonna be attaching inside so that they're merged together. I'll see about getting up on this roof, BRB. All right, back up on the roof. So that's the final product there, guys. The olive on the brown. And we super, we literally just slapped these two houses together. I didn't even have, know if I had planned on keeping them here. But that shows you what you could do with just a little bit of building spamming. Um, I am going to work on these. I'm going to make them better. So all I did, I took the two houses uh, and I improved them. And I, I fleshed them out. I didn't add anything new. It's not really speed building, and I, I didn't really spam. We only got four buildings in, so... But that for me, that's spam. Uh, so let's back up and take a look. I like it. I've added in torches and stuff all throughout here to complement. I did orange light down here and olive dyed torches. Those are from Structures Plus up there. So the two buildings, the one with the olive paint on the inside out wood, uh, turned into this. And I extended it down here so that I'm sort of disrupting the central 
the 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 symmetry of things these two uh, spots for thrones we'll have to figure out what to do when the market gets here and then uh that house over there which is uh the the wood with the tangerine thatch roof i took that style and i expanded the house and actually created this cool little area so this is also the entrance to this house over here uh, which is cool and then uh, it takes you out and outside of these gothic windows see that crazy and then uh up and out to here it's gonna be hard to zoom out but that's what it <laughs> there you go that's the best i can zoom out uh, that's what it looks like there guys uh, and it zips you back through and into this area, which is in between the two buildings. I did a little storage pile here, uh, painting one side in olive to match this, the other side in orange to match this. I'm starting to role play. Maybe there's two, two houses who live in the city, two great noble houses, one uh, whose main color is olive and one whose main color is, is uh, tangerine. I could see that because we've used those two a lot. Each house could sort of belong to a different guild or family. And uh, I, I don't know. I like it. Yeah, you, if they're families, one could have a sigil, a Sarko sigil. One could have a Capro sigil or a frog, a toad sigil. That'd be great. Um, but yeah, I like it. I, this building, I did a funky thing with the roof here, but it still turned out cool. Um, I took you up there without really explaining why, and I made a little false chimney thing on it. But yeah, we did pretty good. Fleshed this out, added in a bunch of buildings, and we prepped this uh, main area down here. And sorry, these, I guess these are the other buildings. I need to zip through here. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Get me back on the bridge. So this area down here is prepped and ready to go. It is ready for us to take on and to decorate. And it's supposed to look like a marketplace. Uh, and I don't have a whole lot of time. The server goes extinct on the 12th or the 13th of this month. So you might only get a couple more episodes. I will do my best to get them out to you to make up for lost time and to build here. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Arc Building Evolved. If you have, go ahead and click the like button. Leave me some positive comments. Leave me some inspiration uh, down in the comments section. And, uh, and yeah, what's popping up on your screen right now is a thing for my Patreon. This is a Patreon server. You could play here with me. Uh, so click on my Patreon page to learn more. But I am happy to just have you watch and enjoy. So if you want to do that, here are playlists for this area, the Swamp Kingdom, and for Building Evolved in general. Go back to the beginning and binge on it. All right, guys, enough frenetic movement, enough rambling. Thank you for watching. I'm Unite the Clans, and I will see you in the next episode of Arc Building Evolved.